In this video, we're going to examine the benzaldehyde molecule. Um, we want to point out that we have 15 or 16 um, videos where we deal with different types of resonance systems. Hopefully you've had a chance to watch them because we're using the knowledge base that we gain now from these uh, previous videos. Um, we're assuming also that um, everybody is comfortable with um, SP or SP2 or SP3 hybridization and the different uh, geometries that are involved. Now here with the benzaldehyde you see that a carbonyl group is attached to the benzene ring. Um, here the oxygen and the carbon they are both sp2 hybridized. Again we've gone over that in uh, previous videos and to draw different canonical structures here we see that the carbon and the oxygen have a pi bond between them of course that means that the carbon has a single electron in its pi orbital so does the oxygen the pi orbitals overlap and we have the uh, the pi covalent bond. What happens if oxygen keeps both electrons for itself leaving carbon then with an empty p orbital? If that happened we would have this then. Carbon is no longer a pi bond, just a single bond. The oxygen would have a lone pair of pi electrons. It had its own to begin with, plus it swiped one from carbon. Let's draw this neater. And now the carbon has a empty p orbital, and consequently a positive charge. Now, here between these two carbons, we have a pi bond. Suppose that in this pi bond, this carbon keeps the pi electron from that one. That would leave this one then with an empty p orbital and a positive charge. This carbon has two pi electrons but it donates one to this one here that has the empty p orbital forming a double bond. So we would have that canonical structure then we can continue on like this. Here we see a double bond between these two carbon atoms. Suppose in this double bond now this carbon keeps the pi electron from that carbon atom. Now leaving this carbon with an empty p orbital and a positive charge. So here sharing pi electrons, this carbon is going to swipe the pi electron from this one leaving it with an empty p orbital and a positive charge. This carbon now has two pi electrons, its own plus the one it swiped from here, so it donates it to this one here at the empty p orbital, forming a double bond, and now this carbon has an empty p orbital and a positive charge. And I don't know if we can get all of these into view at the same time, but these are the different canonical structures that can be formed. We had this, then 
this carbon with an empty p orbital and a positive charge, then this carbon with an empty p orbital and a plus charge, and this carbon with an empty p orbital and a plus charge. Now you might be thinking there should be one more canonical structure that we could draw if, because here we have a double bond, so if this carbon swipes an electron from this one that's being shared in this pi bond, that would leave this one with an empty p orbital and a positive charge. double bond here, this carbon atom now has a empty p orbital and a positive charge, and a double bond here. Here we had a double bond. This carbon swipes the pi electron from this one, leaving it with an empty p orbital and a positive charge. It now has two pi electrons, because it stole one, but it donates it to this one with an empty p orbital forming that double bond. That should be yet another canonical structure. But if we look at it closely, we would see that this canonical structure and this one are the same. If we just take the molecule and just flip it over, this positive charge is up here. So this and this are the same. So we'll erase this. So here are the canonical structures. This is the original molecule. Remember that. Then we draw the canonical structures here. We have these. Notice there's charge separation, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Um, but electron being the oxygen being the more electron, electronegative, has the negative charge. So that's a pretty decent setup. But notice now how the positive charges are distributed on the benzene ring. They're here or here. Those are equivalent positions. Benzene is symmetrical and also here in the para position. So when you have a molecule like with a carbonyl group that forms this type of resonance or this type of canonical structures so that the positive charges are at the ortho and para positions. What that means is, remember that for benzene, it has an electron cloud above and beneath the ring where we have these positive charges. That means that the electron density is reduced at the ortho and the para positions. At the meta positions here and here, these are equivalent now, because that's a symmetrical molecule. But the meta position, it is unaffected. So for an electron withdrawing group, we call it electron withdrawing, because right here, an electron from this carbon ends up in this bond here, leaving this carbon with a positive charge. So when you have a carbonyl group attached to the benzene ring, then it is a meta-directing compound, meaning that the charge density, the electron charge density of the benzene ring is unaffected in the meta positions. Now this is different than what you saw in the previous videos with uh, phenol and aniline, where at the ortho and para positions you saw negative charges meaning that in those situations 
the electron charge density is increased in the ortho and para positions. So for molecules like um, phenol and aniline, where in that situation what happened was we had the benzene ring then we had attached to it some molecule that had a lone pair of pi electrons. So here, when you go back and look at the videos, you see the kinetical structures that we drew. What it meant is that we were having electron releasing into the benzene ring, not evenly distributed though. It was at the ortho and para positions, that's when you had the ortho and para directing situations, that is, molecules that have a lone pair of uh, pi electrons. Here, we had a molecule with an empty p orbital. So here we had electrons coming out of the ring. We had a reduced, a reduction in the charge density of the benzene ring, but only at specific positions, in the ortho positions and the meta positions. So those are the two types of uh, chemical groups that we can attach to the benzene ring. Some of them will be like this, and in the resonant structures they are electron releasers into the ring. Those are the ortho and para directors. Others of them have an empty p orbital, you have electrons coming out of the ring, you are decreasing the electron density, but only at specific places, the ortho and para positions, leaving the meta position unaffected, and those types of situations we say we have a meta directing group attached to the benzene ring. And in later chapters, you'll see that that affects the chemistry of the benzene ring in specific ways. What we're trying to do in these videos is show the mechanism that's behind all of that. Okay, uh, that's it for this video then. Uh, a reminder that the playlist for all the videos is at the website digital-university.org.